Alrighty guys, we got the new eclipsing plane here. It's the Model 3D. Got it all printed out, and now we're gonna start putting it together. Figured you guys would want to come along for the ride. So if you guys are new to the hobby or you know a flight test, a lot of you guys may know us for building a lot of different foam board airplanes. But the really cool thing is, is you can build 3D printed models as well. One of the neat benefits about being able to 3D print your model is if you crash or break something, you can always 3D print that part and make it again. Eclipson has a wide variety of different aircraft from entry level trainers, to sailplanes, to biplanes, to warbirds, even planes that can fly over 100 miles an hour. By using different filaments like lightweight PLA, tough PLA, Variasure, you can do everything from printing your aircraft, to your landing gears, to even your wheels. And you don't need specialized 3D printers to be able to print your very own airplane from Eclipson. Eclipson makes printing these airplanes easy by sectioning up into sections that can even be printed on a very small bed. And with every model we made from Eclipson, we notice that the evolution of how these models assemble, the way they tab together and glue together, gets better and better with every version. So you can see Dave has been working on this for only about one day here, and as you can see, we are ready to put our electronics in and take it out for a flight. You're a typical little Wobbly? Yeah. Yeah. That is one thing I will say. I'm not a huge fan of 3D printing spinners and stuff, but we're going to give it a shot on this one. Usually we use our styrofoam one from Flight Test. They're available in our store if you want to check them out. But this one looked really cool because it's pointy and awesome, but we'll see how it goes. So what's your predictions? My predictions either go one of two ways. It looks like it's like a racer just with big control surfaces. So I'm guessing it's gonna be really good at high G maneuvers like Paul Thomas and FS spins. But I don't know how it's gonna do with like slow stuff like rolling harriers, rolling circles. Kinda curious to see that. Also I'm kinda curious to see if the fuse holds up to the fuse I'm gonna put it through. Dave, I like purple. It's different. Yeah. Um, well, I basically just went back on our shelf and found a color that kind of matched the gray wings <laughs> and went with it. <laughs> hey, you want to see something kind of special to me? Look up in that corner over there. See it? Yeah. So that, Very true. Purple that, and gray. So when my wife and I were married one month, uh, that's the kit I got, and that's the steam I did it. That's been around as long as I've been married. Was it 20, 23, 24 years? That's awesome. So, so I did good. You got gray, you got purple, you got my purple. <laughs> awesome. How is painting this? Um, oh, lightweight PLA and just PLA in general prints really, really nice. Um, it, lay, it lays on super smooth and sticks really good. And even masking off, it doesn't peel the paint afterwards or anything like that. Cool. I think uh, I think at the end of the day, like decals or paint, I would pick paint. Definitely on, on 3D printed stuff, paint's yeah. the way to go. It looks beautiful. Man. Yeah, yeah. We, we had a bit of time printing it, but it turned out great. And Eclipson does a great job uh, on their design, so it's real easy to assemble. They've got awesome hinge lines and just all around a phenomenal plane. Yeah. Again, every time that there's a new model that we work with Eclipson, you can see the evolution of both the community feedback and also just what they've learned. They always apply it. And I heard that even this snaps together easier than the previous models by the way they print, right? Yeah, yeah, definitely. Um, just all, all kinds of different channels and everything. Like, it just goes together really nice. Now, which filaments did you use? Because um, this is an all lightweight, right? Yeah, we used, we used lightweight for the back here and for the wings. There's tough PLA for the nose, which you can use regular PLA, and we have tough PLA for the landing gear, and then very sure for the tires. Very cool. So everything is a little yeah, bit different. Yeah, it's all eclipsing. Um, like, like, they just do a great, great job on it. So, so we use Color Fam for everything, and their products are amazing. Um, yeah. We sell them on our store too, so if you guys are interested, go check it out. Yep, I think we're one of the only people that actually distribute Color Fab and uh, Lightweight PLA, Tough PLA, Various Sure. We have all that available in our stores. One of the coolest features I liked about this is it didn't have super long push rods. In the past, we've kind of fallen victim to that. Uh, this one, because it's a 3D model, the servos are all the way in the back, which I know does make uh, balancing more difficult, but with this being PLA, 
the weight and the strength is where it matters. Yeah, and we actually have a 2200 4S battery in there, and it's slid way back, so we could go a lot lighter and move like a 1300 all the way to the front and be fine, I'm sure. That's excellent. And make it a lot lighter. If you guys are interested in specs, what this is, is this is basically 1100 millimeters or 45 inches, 41 inches long. This is flying off of the PowerPack CV2, and the cool thing about the PowerPack CV2 it has a 40 amp BSC. This can go all the way up to four cells easily. And with the ventilation and the wide open cockpit, you don't have to worry about cooling with this model. We're gonna be putting this to the test here. I'm gonna take it around the patch first, but I am not the 3D pilot in this team. Uh, my son, Michael, is. He's gonna be getting the FPV footage, and then we're gonna trade the transmitters after I fly it around, hopefully as long as it stays in one piece, and he's gonna put it through his paces. Oh, you know what? I don't think I put Expo in it. Oh, I forgot. <laughs> So a little behind the scenes uh, that you guys probably saw more in this video is we all are also working on separate projects and more content based on our skill sets. So Dave really drove this one home. You guys have also seen the big hovercraft. So it's coming along pretty good. Uh, yeah. There'll be a video next week about it. So yep. make sure you stay tuned. And in the meantime, I'm working on some new releases that you guys can build that are just incredible. Probably some of the most innovative and unique planes we've ever designed. So make sure you hit that subscribe bell. Also make sure you tune into future content. We're not just building big. We're not just building 3D. We're not just doing reviews. We're doing all of it. Yep. All right, so I'm putting expo in while I'm talking. <laughs> right, left, up, down. All right, let's back taxi here. I mean, this. This plane taxi is like... It's on rails. It is. If, it, if it's any indication, I'm just gonna turn around right there. I don't think I'm gonna need that. All right, you guys ready? Mike, you ready? Wow. <laughs> yeah, so our seat so, pack has no problem with power, right? Yeah, I'm, I'm ready to half throttle and I can climb under that. I'm just gonna give it a couple of notches of trim. Typical to any Eclipse and model. I don't think we've ever had one that's been a little bit wild. The only difference with this one is it is snappy. <laughs> now we have put auras on our planes in the past just to kind of see how, you know, uh, how stable we can make them, especially with our gliders. Um, this does not need an aura, but if you want to, you know, kind of take out those effects or fly high alpha, you can put those on. Just make sure you well insulate it and make sure your ba prop is balanced because vibrations tend to resonate more through plastic. I'm just flying around nice and slow, letting Mike get as many shots. Pretty fast, isn't it, Mike? I can just feel how snappy this thing is. Mike, you're gonna have fun with this, man. I, I'm giving him a challenge right now, having to, uh, <laughs> to pass us here. As you guys know me, I love getting people in the hobby, but I am far from uh, a, a uh, expert pilot. You know what I mean? I'm, I'm a strong intermediate. And you can clearly tell by flying this plane, it is very capable. There's a knife edge. What do you say we do a big old loop? Mike, you ready for a loop? Three, two, one. <laughs> I couldn't help it! It is awesome! All right, I'm just gonna do a quick landing. Yeah, I say we get Mike behind the sticks because he's the real pilot here. Yes, he is. So, <laughs> that's incredible. Um, basically, I brought that in at zero throttle thinking it was gonna drop out of the sky and it was getting ready with the throttle. It was gliding, yeah. gliding, and I kept pulling back more and more and more. And you guys can't feel it, but there's like a little bit of a gusty wind going on right now. And even when I brought it past that point of stall and I was about to stall it out, do you see that right before I touched down? Yeah, it kind of yep. popped up again. I still have full aileron control. Um, I was still able to control all the way down and stuff, and it just settled in really nicely. So this is incredible. Um, I say we let the, uh, the boss here yeah. uh, put it up. Now, the unfortunate thing is now we're not going to have air to air. Right. But that's okay. Um, yeah, I think it'll be just as good, though. This is, I'm excited. I can't wait to see what he does. I want the arm. What's that? You want the arm? <laughs> this is one of my first times like actually flying an episode of people in front of me. Yeah. It's a little weird. I don't know what to do with my hands, so we're both <laughs> in the same boat. <laughs> How's it feel, Mike? Feels good. I can, uh, I'm guessing that's a 30 spinner. 
vibrating yeah, a little bit? Yeah, probably. One thing, if you guys don't want to print your spinner, or maybe you don't trust the print on your spinner, you can actually use our foam spinners. They're direct compatible, directly compatible to, uh, look at you, high alpha. It has a little bit of a tips on the wings, but like you said, you can toss the aura in that, that would definitely help. So describe to Reaper what high alpha is. So high alpha is when you're flying off the prop and you're not actually flying off the airflow of the wing. And that sometimes when you do fly more acrobatic planes, you can get a little bit of a wobble in the wings. This one's actually done pretty good as long as you stay on the ailerons. So one kind of cool thing that we could try in the future too is there's something called vortex generators. A lot of times in 3D aircraft, you'll see those. Um, I know Flex Innovations has shark teeth. A lot of people have them on the top. The neat thing with 3D printing is you could design something like that and you'd be able to actually put that on and change some of the capabilities. What did you Holy just do? Cow. What was that? <laughs> it, was like, well, ah! it went for a pop top, but it didn't hit the rudder hard enough, I don't think. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I have rudder. <laughs> yeah, I don't have any rudder. You don't have rudder? No. Did it get huh. disconnected? My stuff. All right. Because I'm like trying just, to use rudder in the turns lie. and it's just not coming. <laughs> rudder. <laughs> Did you... It broke or something. I think the linkage stopper. No, there's there's no push rod on it. I bet you the linkage stopper yeah, came unplugged. Stopper. Must have broke All right, so what we need to do is get three feet wide, we need to start walking stuff. Or I can just go get another push rod. <laughs> I'll tell you what, while you do the throws, how about if I go grab some wire yeah, and I'll make a new push rod. Ready? Yep. Oh wow! <laughs> so what do you need? Need more elevator throw? Yeah, I put in. So it's full rates on down elevator now. Holy cow! Well, it didn't snap. That's insane. I'm humbled there. <laughs> It's almost like it actually can bite the air really aggressively for the first time until you lose speed, huh? Yeah. Wow. So it's a little bit more slippery than probably most of the other planes you're used to? Yeah, a lot. It's amazing, right now we're supposed to be talking, but it's like, you know, you can't just help but pause. And pause. Take it all in. Something's really beautiful glass light. It definitely does do better in the faster 3D world. It's like the high G maneuvers, the more aggressive and like airstream stuff rather than slow 3D. Oh, yeah. All right, so Michael, this is your world. What do you think? It's nice. It's definitely not for like the uh, slow 3D world, but it still can do it. So it was able to hover and it was able to do areas and stuff. So really well-rounded. As far as for me, you know, in precision aerobatics, you know, the rolls, the yaw, the pitch, everything was just locked on and very axial, which is really cool. One of the biggest takeaways is make sure that when you run this up, make sure it's balanced and stuff. That spinner needed to balance a little bit, and you can kind of hear that reverberating through the whole thing. If you get this plane perfectly balanced, you can drop something like an FT Aura in it. And if you want to do the slow maneuvers, you have to start, you have the gyro stabilization kind of working for you. And also on windy, gusty days, like what you see here in the winter in Ohio, it makes the flight experience much better. All right, so if you like the Eclipse and Plane and you want to build your own, they're now available for download on their website. And we have the filament available in our store. See you next time. Sorry, I was trying to keep a straight face. Somebody was in the background. Purple matches your eye color. I can't let him hear anymore, can I? <laughs>